followed up by number 11, Daniel Moore. This thing's kind of in my way. Oh, that's for tall people. Uh, first off, I got to thank my family. Uh, I couldn't be anywhere without them. Uh, Mom got to make it without crying. Uh, but you've been crazy <laughs> traveling all over to support us. I mean, she's been this year to everywhere, and sometimes I don't even get off the bench. And, I just know that that's really how much she loves me. Uh, <laughs> Dad, uh, you, uh, you're my rock. I mean, you're what keeps me going. You, uh, you tell me the truth when I don't always want to hear it, and uh, you tell me what I need to hear and not what I want to hear, and I'll always be thankful for that. Lenny, you've been great in all this. Uh, just coming into my life and being nothing but supportive through the ups and the downs and everything, I really appreciate it. Uh, sorry, we don't have to do that every time. Uh, these three little ones. I, uh, I was an only child for a while, and then these three came along. <laughs> so uh, that was tough for me, but <laughs> they... Uh, they're awesome. They've been in every gym in Indiana and other states surrounding supporting me, and they, uh, they've been at every game, and sometimes it's their excuse to mix school, so I think they like it, but it's, it's great. Round of applause for them. All right. Uh, next thanks has to go to my grandparents. They've come in from South Carolina and Florida to be here, and. Uh, very thankful that they could be here to support me today. Next, uh, I have to thank the Remax, my uh, aunt and uncle and my cousins for doing uh, everything that they can. Being here in Bloomington, they've done everything they can to stick their neck out for me and I really appreciate it. And they've really taught me so much about what it's like to be a great person, and I appreciate that, so thank you. <laughs> Coach, I have to thank you for giving me the opportunity to just live out my dream that is this building and this university, and I really appreciate you for uh, letting me do that and also for allowing me to earn scholarship this year, and I really appreciate everything you've done for me. <laughs> All the assistants, thank you so much for everything you've done through the years. Uh, white squad practices, you're all been coaching doing that, and uh, that's a lot of fun, so thanks for everything you do. Timmy G, baby. Timmy, uh, Timmy's our comic relief when times are tough. He, uh, he's the man, he's our trainer, and he does a lot behind the scenes, but Timmy's the man, and that Crimson Tide, boy. Uh, Marnie and Maddie for everything they've done for us academically. Thank you, I appreciate it. Marnie especially, you're with, on us with every road trip, and really appreciate that. Uh, all the team doctors and managers, they do a lot of work behind the scenes that none of you guys ever see, and uh, they do a great job, best in the world, so. Uh, my next thanks has to go out to my high school coach, Coach Galloway. He really is a part of helping me get to where I was before I got here. He, uh, he's, a, he's a great man, and he was sticking his neck out to every college coach in the country, just trying to get me somewhere, but I'm glad I'm here, so really appreciate it. Next, uh, I'd like to thank my girlfriend, Kimmy, for always being there for me. <laughs> She's somewhere in here, I don't even know. 
but uh, she's great, and she's done. Uh, <laughs> Um, I got, uh, that was awkward. Uh, um, I'd like to thank everyone associated with the, putting the games on, the band, cheerleaders. Uh, everyone who works at Assembly wouldn't be normal without my hug as I walk in the door over there before the games. Uh, and last but not least, the fans for everything they've done. Thank you. Oh, there's a lot of things I'm gonna miss about this place uh, and about my teammates when I'm gone. Um, but most of all, I'm just gonna miss these four guys and the guys sitting down over there. I mean, we've been through a lot, but I mean, these four guys, we've been through more than anyone would ever know. I mean, a lot, a lot more downs than ups, but we're, uh, that makes where we're at right now even more sweet. Gonna miss running out of this tunnel before the games. That's, I remember my first time doing that. That was just the coolest thing in the world to me was running out of that assembly hall tunnel. So that last time tonight, it's gonna be uh, something that I definitely miss. Um, last, I'm gonna miss practice with my white squad members. KB, T-Ware, yeah, you, Jeff. Uh, <laughs> everybody else, Austin, I see you. Everybody on White Squad, I'm gonna miss that. But uh, one thing, one thing that I really like about road trips is uh, in the bus before the game. We got um, a lot of people. Everybody getting focused, listening to their music before the game. We got Vic singing his R&B flavor of the week. We got <laughs> we got Ye Will bumping his head to Yellow Wolf, trying to get hyped. We got Seawop bumping Lil Boosie, and, <laughs> and in all the meantime, I'm just trying to keep my headphones and my head down so everybody doesn't know I'm listening to country. <laughs> and last but not least, I'm gonna miss wearing these candy striped pants. And my family, these are very special. This is what we've grown up around, and this whole place is what we've grown up knowing, and that's why I couldn't be anywhere else but here. As a group, us five, we've grown so much over the last four years, and it's, I'm so proud of what we've done and how we've gone from six wins to 24 now, I think. It's been special, real special. There have been a lot of bad times, but it's all good right now, and I want to make this NCAA run last as long as I can. Thanks for the four years, everybody. Daniel Moore.